Welcome to this shortwave radio channel and uh, in my top 10 frequencies that I tune to every day and why. Well, WWV, and if I hear it, WWVH time signal, but mostly WWV because that's what I hear. So WWV, time signal from Colorado in the USA. WWVH, time signal from Hawaii in the Pacific Ocean. Uh, WWV is on 2.5, 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25 megahertz experimental. WWVH is on 2.5, 5, 10, and 15. So WWVH does not use 20 or 25. Why do I tune in to this almost every day? You might think, well, are you always setting your clocks? No, it's not just that. So yes, it's a great tool to make sure that you are on time. It's a great tool to make you know and to understand if your clocks are okay to the second and if you do modes like FT8 or JT65 you know how time, precise time, is extremely important. But there's other things that are interesting in here. It could be that there's the solar conditions at the 18th minute past the hour on WWV I don't remember on the WWVH, but it's in the 40-something minutes. Um, it could be mostly also to check propagation. Because this is nice. Since there's a lot of frequencies operating 24 hours a day, you have a tool here to verify what are the frequencies that are actually propagating. For example, for me, from Colorado to Montreal, It'll give me an idea of which bands might be open, for example. If I hear WWVH underneath, which has a female voice, I might think, oh, look at that. I can hear the Pacific Ocean on that frequency. So there's propagation conditions that you can actually kind of get from the time signal stations. So this is something I'll check quite regularly, which signals are being received at my location at a specific time. And of course, you have all the added uh, info of, you know, fixing your clocks, having your clocks to the precise second. And uh, there's all sorts of announcements also uh, derived from here. So it is something that I like to do. There are other time signals that I often tune, like RWM, you know, that's going to give me an idea of. Uh, I hear, um, you know, the Moscow time signal and stuff like that. There are a few time signals that share 5, 10 megahertz, 5, uh, 15. So uh, that is also a possibility. But overall, uh, two major things that I do is set my clocks and also check out propagation conditions by tuning in the different signals, the different frequencies. And... Um, sometimes be surprised to hear 20 or even more surprised to hear 25. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.